everyone, and welcome back to Walcott Fine Art. So, uh, as some of you may know, I posted a video uh, several years ago called The Story of Blue that was all about the color blue in uh, Western and Asian art and the history of the lapis lazuli uh, pigment. Uh, so, I'll put a link in the description to that below. And then I also posted a video on different blues available in the market. Uh, in oil paint, which I will also post a link to in the description. And after watching those videos, I recently got a comment from a subscriber uh, from Central America who reminded me that there was this thing called Mayan blue that was used by the Mayans and the Aztecs in uh, pre-Columbian Central America. And I didn't cover those in my blue video uh, because that one concentrated on, on you know, Western and, and um, Asian art. But uh, it's, it's an interesting pigment uh, because it was used, like I said, by the Mayans and the Aztecs. And it uh, actually has held up pretty well, uh, you know, through the centuries. It's, it's turned out to be pretty light fast. And, you know, when they painted their temples with it and they painted some of their manuscripts and things like that. And so this person wanted me to do a video on Mayan blue. So that's what this video is today. And it turns out that when they studied the pigment, it was, it's a combination of different earth clays and combined with indigo dyes. And indigo is from a plant called woad. And uh, it's the same color that's used to uh, dye blue jeans, uh, is, in, is the indigo dye. So this combination of clays and dyes is what makes up the Mayan blue. And it does not have a pigment number assigned to it. And after doing some uh, pretty extensive looking around on the internet and stuff, I found that the only source of it that I could find for actual paint was Daniel Smith watercolor. And it's in their Primatec line, which is a line of colors based on natural minerals. So this is the Maya Blue General, or Genuine, sorry, Mayan Blue Genuine. And uh, like I said, it doesn't have a pigment index number assigned to it. So on the tube here, where that would normally be listed, it just says Genuine Mayan Blue. So it basically says the same thing here. Um, but I thought we could take a look at it and just see what it looks like. So I went to Blick today and bought this tube of it. So there is, as far as I know, this color is not available in oil paint. I looked, I couldn't find it. Um, Daniel Smith makes a line of oil paint, but they don't include this color in it. Uh, so it's possible it might not be compatible with oils. Uh, sometimes that can happen. Certain pigments and minerals uh, will be incompatible with certain kinds of paints. Uh, but they do have it in their watercolor line. So that'll give us a chance to look at the color. And I can see just by looking at it uh, that it looks very similar actually to Prussian blue. It's that same type of color. It leans toward green. It's just slightly dullish. But it is a really sort of unique blue color. It almost looks like you took phthalo blue and mixed a little tiny bit of green and a little tiny bit of black with it. And that would make a similar color to this Mayan blue. So, and I'm not really a watercolorist, but I wanted to to see this color and what it looked like. So anyway, so as you can see, it's not a super bright saturated blue, uh, but it's definitely, you know, a pretty nice blue color. And I could see where it would, you know, have been something that was treasured by the Mesoamericans. Uh, because again, blue pigments are so rare in nature, you know, naturally occurring that to have something like this for them would have been a real treat. So if you'd like to try the Mayan blue, uh, 
Like I said, the only source of it I know of is this watercolor. So if you're a watercolorist and you want to try it, uh, Daniel Smith does make it as part of their Primatech line. Uh, and as far as I know, like I said, it's not available in oil paint. So there's really nothing to be done about that. Um, but I'll continue to look and see if I can locate any source of the dry pigment. Um, it's possible that you could track some down if you wanted to try making your own paint. Anyway, so that is Mayan blue, and that's what it looks like. And that goes all the way back to the Central America before Columbus. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!